This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer E15 E5-575 laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on an Acer E15 E5-575 laptop computer. A couple of things before we get started. Uh, the tools that we're going to use are PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver which is smaller. A metal spudger tool to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. And a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. Okay, so let's get started with this laptop. It has an internal battery, so we're not going to remove or disconnect the battery for this procedure because it is not a touchscreen and for not a touchscreen for newer laptops, it is not necessary to do that. And the first thing we're going to do is snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. Uh, this one is not secured by any screws, so we can just snap it off. And to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and snap the bezel up and outward. Just uh, take the bezel up and outward and go around the screen assembly doing that. If you get stuck at a specific spot, uh, just go to a different spot and keep going until you, you can get it off and to come back to that spot later on. This one is exceptionally easy to take off. So we put it to the side, and the next thing we want to do is remove the screen from the screen assembly. And to do that, we have metal mounting tabs. There's two screws on top and two screws on the bottom. So the, there's two inner screws and two inner screws here. Uh, one thing to note, the power button is right here. Uh, be careful not to touch the power button when working on the laptop. And if you do have to turn it off, just turn off the laptop right away. So let's use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws. One and two and three and four. When we do this we want to have the screen tilted back a little bit so that the screen assembly tilted back so that the screen doesn't fall forward when we uh, remove all the screws. So once the screws are removed we lay the screen down once again being very careful with the power button so as not to touch it and what we want to do is take our metal tweezers and maybe remove this video cable a little bit so we have more room to work with. And what we have to do next is disconnect this connector right here. And to do that, we use our hobby knife or exacto knife. Lift up the adhesive tape carefully. And then grabbing the connector with both our fingers on the back, just slide the connector out like so. I'm going to show you how to reconnect it so it's properly connected. You slide it back in and you'll feel but not hear too quick. So let's get a close up of the connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so let's disconnect it again and take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch EDP Full HD screen. And uh, for this particular one has a matte finish. So they come in both matte and glossy finish and if you specifically like one type or the other, so you need to request that when ordering. The part number for this particular screen is N156. H-G-E-E-A-L. Uh, when you do get your new screen in, uh, it might have a different part number, but it should be compatible. The connector is on the lower right-hand side, and it should be a 30-pin connector instead of the older 40-pin connector. And the mounting tabs should also line up. And the, again, the finish of the screen should be whatever is specified on the order. Okay, you can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is this toolkit that I showed you in this video. It comes for free 
with the screen to help you install it. We ship for free in the United States and we can ship to most places around the world. Just specify your country during the checkout procedure. And we have a two-year warranty and free email technical support. Okay, when you do get your new screen, uh, reconnect it like I showed you. And then mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom and then snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it. This is a very simple procedure and you should be able to do it quickly with no problems. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.